Well, welcome back to The Pathway. Today in number 16, we looked at a very challenging passage about the rebellion of Korah, which is really a specific Old Testament story cited over and over and over again through the Old and New Testament. And we looked at the book of Jude, which warns us that what was in Korah is in us. And it's really the inability to adapt, to be flexible, to be open, or to be teachable. We need to be right, we need to have our way, and we think we know better than our boss, our company, our presidents of our country, and certainly the God who rules the universe. So often when we worry, when we're angry at God, it's really coming from a rebellious heart, a sense of insubordination. It's really easy to see it in other people, but not in ourselves. I love these two explore questions at the very beginning of the pathway because I think they help us explore our own hearts, times that that rebellious spirit has manifested itself. So think of a time when you have been the subject of criticism or gossip. How did you respond? Because it's amazing that Moses and Aaron are still thinking about the criticizer's need and asking God to forgive them. I got a long way to go. Have you ever, second question, have you ever refused to go along with the plan of an authority in your life? What were the reasons for doing so and what resulted from those actions? Now, sometimes it's like, yeah, they wanted me to do something wrong or evil, but more often than not, it's just because we thought we knew better. And I think that's the attitude we want to look at. What keeps us from adapting to our spouses or our kids or our parents? What keeps us from joyfully submitting to maybe a decision we wouldn't have made? is really that spirit within us. And God wants to develop a, a humble spirit, a teachable spirit, a loving spirit. So I love this prayer here at the end. Let me pray this prayer for you and for me as we pursue a humble heart. Lord, keep me from stumbling and grumbling. Remind me that all authority is ultimately yours and help me to give you all the glory. Thanks. Amen.